now that we've reviewed the key requirements of protection for systems as well as the theory of protection ICs, let's take a detailed look at some of the products and specifications of Maxim's high integration protection solutions. Here is an example device, the Max One Force 571. This integrates all necessary components that are needed to implement a variety of protection function. The device is rated for 36 volt operating max input voltage and up to 4 amp of current limiting capability. At these current levels, we are able to integrate both the NFET for forward direction current limiting and protection as well as the PFET for reverse current and voltage protection. The device is also very easy to set up. Let's go through the pinout from the left on your screen onto the right. You can use the UVLO and the OVLO pin to program the under voltage and over voltage lockout thresholds. The set I pin is used to program the over current limit by connecting a resistor from set I to ground or GND. The HVEN bar pin is a high voltage capable enable input. Drive the HVEN low for normal operation. Drive HVEN high to disable the device. HVEN has up to 36 volt over voltage protection on this device. The RIEN designates the reverse current enable input. Connect this pin to ground in order to disable the reverse current flow protection. Connect this pin to logic high to activate the reverse current flow protection. Active high enable is the enable pin. Drive enable high for normal operation. Drive enable low to disable the device. The flag bar pin is an open drain pin and also a fault indicator output. The flag bar goes low when the fault duration exceeds the blanking time. Reverse current is detected or thermal shutdown mode is active. It also goes low when the OVLO threshold is reached or the set I, which is the current limit adjustment pin is connected to ground. At high current levels, the package power dissipation is again a constraint. So the approach similar to the Himalaya DC-DC buck regulators is to move the PFET external to the device. This particular device, the MAX 14691, is rated up to 6 amps. Beyond this one difference, the feature set and the functionality of the MAX 14691 is identical to the MAX 14571 that we discussed on the prior slide. There is one difference which we will review in more detail, and that is the current limit response time. The MAX 14691 has an integrated sense resistor and FET, which allows Maxim to guarantee a accurate plus or minus 10% current limit accuracy for safe startup operation. It offers two pin selectable current limit response modes. One, latch off after an overcurrent event, or two, auto retry after the blanking time elapses, giving the designer flexibility and control on their design. These types of devices are frequently used in applications where there is a large energy reservoir capacitor on the output. The capacitor is sized to handle power fail situations and allow the system to operate for the required time and save critical data. Such systems often need to comply with an input hard short circuit condition. And the design should make sure that the output reservoir capacitor is minimally discharged in such an event. In this slide, we show this test. The pink trace shows the input, red is the output, the green trace shows the current through the device. Now, when the hard short is applied, you can see that the input and the output fall together for some time, and then the device opens when it detects the reverse condition. At this point, the output oscillates due to the parasitics and settles down close to the original value after some time. If you look at the current, it was positive to begin with, and when the hard short is applied, the current direction reverses, making it negative. When the current goes negative, past the detection threshold of the IC, it turns off the PFET within a microsecond. Another feature on this part is thermal foldback. For large output capacitors, there is high power dissipation during the startup phase. This raises internal temperature, and when the junction temperature reaches an internal threshold of 145 degrees C, 
the device starts to regulate temperature and throttles back the current as needed. You can see it on the pink trace. As the output builds up, the temperature falls below the threshold and the current comes back to normal. This approach allows the fastest charging of output capacitors while also maintaining the internal temperature to acceptable safe values. Maxim offers two families of protection solutions rated for either a maximum input voltage of 36 volts or a maximum input voltage of up to 60 volts. It is critical to select the right device in terms of voltage rating for your application. In applications with significant input side inductance, the voltage at the input of the device could ring up to two times the actual supply voltage, especially if hot plug, or even in the case of a supply with a fast rise time. Such a requirement could also exist on the output side. Therefore, a device with 2x the maximum supply voltage specification should be selected if this is the case of your end application. This is the single biggest reason for failure of these devices in the field. So select an appropriate protection solution with enough headroom as available by the Maxim products highlighted on this slide. Just like our Himalaya DC-DC buck regulators, these solutions are all rated for a minus 40 degree C to plus 125 degree C operating temperature range. Via integration of various components as we, descri as we described excuse me, on the previous slides, the Maxim protection solution reduces the total solution size by half and significantly reduces the design time. Thank you again for your time in reviewing Maxim's highly integrated system protection solutions.